Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hector Carrillo from Car Hex. I wanted to show you guys the Buick that I bought yesterday. There's something about 1970 Buicks that just get the hearts and attention of a lot of us Buick guys. And sometimes we do stuff to, <laughs> to get them. Um, this is a 1970 Skylark that I bought. Uh, yesterday and um, I found it on Craigslist a lot of people ask me where I find these cars um, and this one I actually found on Craigslist um, sometimes I search for cars you know um, on Craigslist and a lot of times people um, send me uh, links and stuff to different Craigslist ads or different uh, ads where cars are advertised and that's how I find a lot of cars now a lot of people ask how far i travel um the farthest i've traveled is from san diego down to um um what's that place bakersfield so you know that's what it is now i'm gonna add this to the keeper pile because this thing is just so rust free and beautiful it's not perfect but it needs very little to be perfect and what I like about it is I have all the parts to make it somewhat perfect. Um, now, this car looks white, but in reality, it's that uh, canary butternut yellow. Um, the previous owner um, color sanded this area here, and it came out a little bit. Um, came out a little bit. So what the plan is is to uh, buff and color sand it and see how much of it I can get out. Unfortunately. <clears throat> the front hood has a ding on it that's pretty bad this is caved in here and then you know front end ding here so guys i need a a front hood lip molding um this guy here actually bought a hood from me um and was gonna put it on this car and i didn't know it was him until i got to his place and he showed me the hood and I go, hey, I remember that hood. So, you know, um, the seat is your your bench seat with the fold down armrest. The guy had a, a plastic mat there and it kind of melted. It's guarantee you it's not mold. It's just a plastic mat that was down there. Um, the bottom of the seat is torn. But what I'm going to do is I have friends at, a, at Distinctive Industries and I'm going to see if he could um, put a lower bottom half for me and maybe just a driver's seat and keep the original passenger seat on it. Um, the knobs, the tilt steering knobs are a little bit um, rusted out, you know, pitted lightly. Um, but I do have some off of another Buick that I just took off that are in really, really, really good shape. And I also have a shifter uh, nut that's in really good shape. The dash has one small little crack on it, but I could live with that. So I'm going to change that out, change the seat out, put a new headliner in, and get some of the sun visors that I have in the back that are in really good shape. And believe it or not, I have a um, map light rear view mirror that's not messed up that I could just stick in there. Um, the carpet and everything is, you know, in decent shape the door panels everything in the back even the corners in the back are in really good shape now um this car is a vinyl top car but there was no rust under it i checked under it i you know hit it pretty good in the corners and everything and there was nothing under there um it does have one dent here um which i'm gonna try to massage out without having to paint the car um the bumpers are original grandma you know bumpers um the front bumper unfortunately it was tagged but what i'm gonna do is i don't know if you guys remember some of you that have known me for a while there was um a grandma four-door car that i got that had perfect perfect bumpers that i've been stashing those away so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use those bumpers um on this car just to make it shine a little bit more um and then i might just put a new vinyl top on it and then uh call that a day now it's got the original hubcaps on it the cool thing about this car it's got one more dent on this side the cool thing about this car 
is it's got a 350 four barrel so it's a four barrel with AC with AC might need a new hood hinge on that side so um, it's got power brakes power steering disc brakes um, and I'm gonna see if I could get the AC going and the guy said that he took the top bracket off <coughs> to um, to to be able to paint the valve covers and he also took the belt off so I should be able to put all that stuff back on and have the AC worked on he put a new fuel pump, he put a new water pump on it, and a few other things, which, um, you know, come in handy, and I should be able to do something with them. Um, it's got disc brakes, so what the plan is, is to put the front bumpers on, the rear bumpers on, um, try to find me a butternut yellow original hood, so I could put on there, color sand the whole car, and um, have the seat repaired, have a new headliner, fix the tilt steering levers and the turn signal levers and the shifter levers, put the sun visors in, the map light rearview mirror in, and add a sway bar to the back and add one of the one inch front sway bars that I have and rebuild the front and rear suspension and just drive the thing. That's it. This, uh, my wife's been complaining that um, we need another car. <laughs> so this is it. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sell one of my other keeper cars unless I could work my butt off and sell some parts. Um, but, you know, the post car might have to go. The fate is undetermined right now until this is, this is done. But, um, yeah, trying to make this a daily driver for my wife. And like I said, there's little things that I look around that need to be done to it. Um, like the the wiper arms um those are incorrect but the thing is i have the correct ones off that grandma car i saved so many parts off the grandma car it's not even funny and i should be able to put this together and make it a really really nice or really decent daily driver for the wife i know a lot of you are like no not daily driver but you know we gotta enjoy these cars we gotta take them out and um see what we can do with them and teach the kids about them and stuff and how to respect them and the parts and stuff so yep I'm excited so uh, if you have a front hood lip molding for this car or a hood in this color um, I think it's the butternut canary yellow color or whatnot please let me know I'd be really interested in buying it um, thanks guys thanks for following me and watching all my videos too really appreciate it